it is legal advice, but a lot of times it's not. It's just talking to the person. That's what they want. They want you to speak to them. It doesn't seem very complicated. It doesn't seem very uh, highfalutin, but it's as simple as that. If you give people the time, uh, your time, and make time for them, they'll appreciate that. And that's usually what they want. Now they want to know that you know what you're talking about. Uh, you have to know what you're talking about. But if you can combine those two things, skill level and uh, I suppose empathy um, and understanding, that goes an awful long way. People will appreciate that. And that's what I try and do. Yeah, the punishment for drink driving in Ireland is disqualification, pure and simple. It's not anything more easy than that. You, if you're convicted or you plead guilty, you will be disqualified. Um, that's irrespective of your, your circumstances, your family circumstances, your work circumstances. Uh, while they may be taken into consideration, and they are, it's mandatory. As soon as you're, you're convicted or you plead guilty, you will be disqualified from driving. You have to be. The judge has got no discretion here. They must put you off the road. Drink driving is different to other areas of law. In virtually every other area of law, bar revenue offences, the state is obliged to prov um, prove the case against you beyond reasonable doubt, and you're not required to help them do that. You're not required to help the state prosecute you. In drink driving, you are. You have to give evidence against yourself in drink driving in, in the form of a breath specimen, or a blood specimen, or a urine specimen. And that goes against about three or 400 years of uh, common law jurisdiction where the state was required to prove its case against you. And it was reversed for drink driving, but it was reversed on public policy grounds. Um, it was deemed to, if you were going to be requiring the public to give evidence against themselves in the form of a blood or breath or urine specimen, the corresponding safeguards had to be that the, that the structures in place to protect the citizen against an overweening power of the state would have to be kept very high. So if you're required to effectively give evidence against yourself, the state's required to follow a set set of procedures and if they don't do it, the case may collapse on those grounds. So it's different to most areas of law. You have to help the state in some way.